Hi, this is Dr. O'Connor. Welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. So here we're going to do a problem using conversion factors. We're going to convert 365 drops of water to microliters. The problem asks us how many microliters are in 365 drops of water. And then they tell us that one drop is 1 20th of a milliliter. So first thing we do is we write what we're given and that is 365 drops and where do we need to go to? We're going to convert the 365 drops to our desired unit which is microliters. So we'll work on our road map here. We're going to go from drops to microliters. So we're actually given an equivalence in the problem. One drop, so here we have one drop is equal to one twentieth of a milliliter. Actually I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Let's multiply both sides by 20. So what we have is 20 drops is equal to one milliliter. That'll just make it a little easier to work with when we do the math. So I guess that means that we can go from drops to milliliters. So now I have to figure out, well, what do I know about milliliters and microliters? Well, I know that one milliliter contains 1,000 microliters. So I can go from milliliters to microliters. So I have my road map, I have my two equivalences. Remember, with each equivalence, we can write two conversion factors. So 20 drops per one milliliter, or I can write one milliliter per the 20 drops. And I'll do the same with this equivalence here. Let me underline the equivalences. So we have one milliliter per 1,000 microliters or I can write it as 1,000 microliters per milliliter. So now I'm all set to go. So I have 300. I start with my given. I have 365 drops of water. And I need to multiply this by the conversion factor that will cancel out drops and leave me with milliliters. So I'll look at these two conversion factors here. So I'm going to use the second one. So one milliliter is 20 drops and the drops cancel. And if I stopped right here, I'd calculate my answer in milliliters. But we need to go from milliliters to microliters. So I'm going to multiply again by a conversion factor using this equivalence that will cancel out milliliters and leave me with microliters. Again, I'll use this one here, number two. So 1,000 microliters per milliliter. Milliliters cancel and I'm left with microliters. So here is my calculator from my computer. So we have 365 drops divided by 20 drops multiplied by 1,000. And that equals 18,250. microliters. Now I started off here with three significant figures so I have to go ahead and round this answer. Remember the conversion factors are exact. They do not affect the number of significant figures. So I will move my decimal point one, two, three, four places. So I have 1.83 times 10 to the 4th 
microliters. Please visit my website for chemistry study guides. I have study guides for General Chemistry 1 and I'm starting the study guides for General Chemistry 2 and there are some quizzes up on the website and my website's name is Pathways to Chemistry. So everybody have a great day and I'll see you soon.